Bingo. Bingo. Quick demonstration of what a stabilized approach looks like on my way into Kunsan here. We'll call tower and get them to turn on the lights. TT, T, unrestricted approach. Poppy lights are off. We need the poppy lights on the precision approach. Lights. Good morning. Goblin 2 1. Kunsan approach. Continue in now. The straight in approach. Runway 36. Welcome back. Alright, here come the lights. I'm going to idle for a minute here. Slow down a little bit. I'll keep, keep the power just above idle a little bit. Where's my lights? Uh oh. There we go. All right, four red, I am below glide slope. I need to fly level. I need to compensate right to get on course. I am left of course. Not gonna bother contacting tower. There is three red. I'm gonna fly into the glide slope from below, at which point I will transition flight path marker to three degrees down on the pitch ladder. I'm at zero degrees right now. You can see my vertical velocity is zero. I'm not flying up or down. My alpha is four degrees. That matches what I see here. Flight path marker where the jet is actually going. Gun cross where the nose is pointed four degrees up. That is your angle of attack right there. You can see I'm, the nose is pointed into the wind just a little bit. Wind is coming from 306, 15 knots. So that's from my left. And that's why the gun, the nose is actually pointed that way. Now, two red, two white, time to go idle. Time to get the flight path marker on the runway. My speed is still at 250 knots. I am at seven miles, just about to be on final at about five miles or so. At this point, I would call tower, tell them I'm on final, request landing and all that. Uh, but I'm worried about my approach. It is not stabilized. Five degrees alpha, I need to be at 11 degrees angle of attack. I'm at five. 1,400 feet per minute vertical velocity. I am descending very fast. I need to be at 800 or 700 or so in the F-16 in this jet uh, on three degrees down. So I need to slow down. I need to get my speed brakes out. Some, not all the way. I need to get my landing gear out. You can, you'll see my alpha increase. I'm pulling back on the stick to keep the flight path marker on the threshold three degrees down. There's the two and a half degree down mark. I'm at three degrees down, back on the stick to get that staple for the landing gear to come up. And when it meets the flight path marker, I'm pouring on a little power. Okay, power's coming on. Now look at my angle of attack, 11 degrees. That's where I want it, 10, 11 degrees. And look at my vertical velocity. Look at that, eight, 900 feet per minute. Get the flight path marker on the touchdown zone. Keep the power there. And everything's correct. 10 degrees alpha, 10, 11. Vertical velocity is seven or eight. I need to be at 500 or less on touchdown. I will achieve that with the flare. Right at 20 feet above the ground, I'll flare and I'll get the vertical velocity down. Touchdown gently at 13 alpha. So here's my stabilized approach. Everything is safe. Everything is perfectly where it needs to be for this landing. Got the gear down, got three green. Now I'm looking for 130 feet, I'm looking for 20 feet to flare. And I'll pull power as necessary. 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, flare. And very lightweight jet, so 13 alpha right here. Get in the center of the runway. Just keep my 12, 13 degrees alpha here for aero braking. There we go. Sometimes it's easier just to put the stick in one place and hold it there. There we go. Arrow breaking. So touchdown was definitely less than 500 feet per minute. It was very gentle. My alpha was correct, about uh, 13 degrees. Had a little bounce. Um, the jet was so light that I actually started to gain altitude after the flare maneuver. I shouldn't have flared quite so much. But... Uh, Pretty good landing overall.